Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season eight. Eight, I don't know how I did it like that. Um, episode four. Now, we just defeated the Night King, which is lit. Now, I feel like the only thing really left to focus on in the show is two things, okay? Two things. What happened at the end of episode two in season eight, when John and Danny had a really interesting conversation, I feel like that's gonna pick up in this episode like it has to dude that's too important of news to not be picked up you know and then also probably going to kill cersei because she crossed us so that's probably the rat that's probably the rest of the show in these next three episodes four five six i don't know maybe something else can happen i don't know but i think this episode is going to pick up with that conversation between danny and john because that was a very important conversation now now I feel like would would have been a really good time to bring it up if I were John because you know thinking about it it's like let's say we lost to the Night King let's say he won well then that information was irrelevant Danny would have died not knowing any of that so it's like I don't know like it was never meant to be in that case the Targaryen was never meant to be on the throne ever again so no okay here's how I see this going down between Danny and John Danny's gonna press him about it. Now, John being John, he has no ego. He's not going to give a shit. He's just going to be like, yeah, cool. Take the throne. I don't care. Take it. Like, I don't want it. You know, if he doesn't do that, that's very inconsistent with his character. I feel like because he didn't, he don't want to be king in the north. He only did it because the people wanted him to be. And they basically just made him king in the north without him, like, really even, like, trying to be it. You know, there's like, you're the king. He's like, okay. You know, so John's probably just gonna be like, look, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, like, this is what I, this is the information I found out. I don't care. Take the throne. Now, like, unless there's something like the fact that John is the true heir and traditionally Danny cannot take the throne because she is not the rightful heir. Like they're just going to respect that tradition or something. That's really the only way I see this going bad. You know, it's like Danny won't accept the throne if there's a true heir still alive. Or something so yeah she'll she'll definitely try and kill john if that's the case you know now if like john yields to the yields the throne to her it's like um the dark saber in star wars right you can only obtain this, the dark saber by defeating somebody by defeating the previous owner with it if they yield it to you it won't it doesn't count you know like what happened at the end of the mandalorian mando just he's like take it i don't give a fuck and it was like nope doesn't work that way so unless it's something like that I feel like John's just gonna be like, yeah, take it, I don't give a shit, so, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time, we're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as early access to the last two episodes of Game of Thrones will be available on Patreon, so, let's get started. Damn, so Jorah did die, I wasn't sure if he actually, like, I wasn't sure if it was like actually confirmed or not whether he died, but yeah, this is it. He did. R.I.P. Mormont. R.I.P. House Mormont actually, because Lady Mormont died too. So that entire I read on Patreon that that now that Lady Mormont died, and so did Jorah. Now that entire that entire house is just wiped. It's like damn. Oh, it's Sansa and Theon. Sansa didn't die, but Theon did. Ugh. So this episode is going to be about grieving too, okay, yeah. Oh. He was part of Winterfell just as much as anyone else. Damn, yeah, we gotta burn all them. Damn. I'm surprised this dire wolf is still alive. I'm pretty sure all the other four died. <laughs> pretty sure all the other four are dead. Actually, no, Namiri is still alive. She's out in the woods somewhere. Our fellow men and women who set aside their differences to fight together mm. and die together so that others might live. Everyone in this world owes them a debt that can never be repaid. To keep them alive in memory for as long as men draw breath. Oh. They were the shields that guarded the realms of men. <sighs> Dude, John gives such good speeches. He's up there with those emotional Captain America and Optimus Prime speeches. <laughs> Von Barrett too. Annette! <laughs> Wait one more. 
Dude, look at the look at that look from Danny. She's like, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. She's like, I didn't fucking forget. Honestly, I'm not. I'm very, I'm happy with Jorah's death too. Like, I already said in the last episode that I'm I'm happy with Theon's death. I was happy with the Jorah's too because he died, dude. He fought so hard to protect Danny at his last moment. Like, his love for Danny kept him alive. Just oh my god, that was so good. Dude, it'll probably smell horrible with all these bodies burning. <laughs> Dude, look at that tension between John and Danny. She won't even look at him. You're Robert Baratheon's son. Mmm. Um, I might be. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know he was my father until after he was dead. So who's Lord of Storm's End now? I don't know, Your Grace. Technically, Gendry. Alright, I'll take it. I think you should be Lord of Storm's oh. End. Oh. Oh. Okay, sure. I can't be, I'm a bastard. No. Mm. You are Lord Gendry Baratheon of Storm's End, the lawful okay. son of Robert Baratheon, because mm -hmm. that is what I have made you. Oh, that's so sweet. I feel like he's not gonna know like what to do with it, you know? Just be like, all right, shit. Good for him. My boy came up. And the Lord of Storm's End will be forever loyal to you. Look at Sam giving Danny that fucking side eye. You're not the only one who's clever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why she did it. <laughs> this is clever. Even better than the saddle I designed for you. I remember that back in season one. So I is Stark, the hero of Winterfell. Yeah. Where is she? Kendry asked about her, but you are an only child. Ah, uh, they're playing that good one game. The game that Tyrion played with Braun and Oh my god, what was her name? Oh my okay. Shay, 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 Shay. With Braun and Shay in the tent in season one. That was a good callback. Strong enough to befriend an enemy and get murdered for it. <laughs> Most people get bloody murdered. They stay that way. Not this one. Not this guy. This guy's built different. And then back here again. He keeps fighting. He keeps fighting. Oh, Danny's hearing that. What kind of person climbs on a fucking dragon? Mm. A madman or a king? No, 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 no. I mean, Danny, she's just being nice right now. Like, they're not going to start shit right now, you know. But yeah, look at her. Oh, no. She's like, damn, I really gotta kill this motherfucker. Varys knows it. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. He just, he knows something's up with her, but he doesn't know why, because he doesn't know about Jon being Targ. He sees how happy every, she sees how happy everyone is, you know? She's like, I don't want to ruin this. You were married before Sansa. Mm -hmm. Drink. He was, yeah, he was. Because Jamie set that up for him, right? You're a virgin. Until this very moment, have you slept with a man? I don't think she has. Oh, yeah, she hurt her feelings. We face those icy fucks. Looked right into their blue eyes, and here we are. Tormund, she's not, she's not gonna fuck you, dog. <laughs> and after all that, this fucker comes north and takes her from me. Just takes her. No, he didn't take her dog. I mean it could get. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. I'm not afraid of wild things. Uh. Maybe you should be. <laughs> There's only one thing that'll make me happy. And what's that? That's my fucking business. <laughs> and he got what he deserved. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Fam the dogs. Hounds. Yeah. None of it would have happened if you left King's Landing with me. Without Littlefinger and Ramsay and the rest, I would have stayed a little bird all my life. Uh, this episode just feels like a celebration. Like, I feel like this entire episode is just going to be like a celebration for winning. I don't know, maybe like midway through it'll pick up. But I guess it's just a bunch of, it feels like it's just a bunch of callbacks. 
Congratulations. Oh. I don't know how to be lord of anything. I hardly know how to use a fork. <laughs> All I know is that you're beautiful, and mm. I love you, and none of it will be worth anything if you're not with me. So be with me. It's too much for Arya. That's so rolling for her. Oh, no, he's proposing. Be my wife. Be the lady of Storm's End. Oh, God. I don't know if she can. You'll be a wonderful lord. Oh, that's a no. And any lady would be lucky to have you. But I'm not a lady. I never have been. That's not me. Yeah, that's what she said to him in season two. Damn. Well, I mean, like... That was a... That was a respectful rejection. Can't, you can't be mad about that. Why do you keep it warm enough in here? Oh, Jamie's been unimpressed. You know the first thing I learned in the North? I hate the fucking North. <laughs> <laughs> you sound quite jealous. Mm. I do, don't I? Yeah, Jamie's had a crush on Brienne. It's bloody hot in here. Oh my god, Jamie. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously he loves Cersei and everything, but I, th I feel like he kind of slowly developed feelings for Brienne since... Oh, move aside. Oh. oh, my God. I've never slept with a knight before. I've never slept with anyone before. Then you have to drink. Those are the rules. I told you. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, you know what I just realized? Pod drink. So, okay. Oh, wait, they're about to have the talk. Only a little. Okay, pod drinks. That means he's never slept with anyone, then. What Jamie just said. So, he's not pod the rod? He didn't pipe that one time? It was all cap? I didn't know Sejura well, but I know this. If he could have chosen a way to die, it would have been protecting you. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't love him back. <sighs> not the way he wanted. Not the way I love you. Oh. I wish you'd never told me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I saw them gathered around you. Uh, yeah, how much they respect and love you. To you. I know that look. Yeah, they want... Uh... So many people have looked at me that way, but never here. Well, you're not... Never the... on this side of the sea. Well, that's all, obviously... I told you I don't You're want not from it. here. It doesn't matter what you want. Oh. You didn't want to be king in the north. What happens when they demand you press your claim and take what is mine? Yeah. Well, then we will never let this information get out. It will stay between us. Mm -hmm. You are my queen. I don't know what else I can say. You can say nothing yes. to anyone ever. Yes. Never tell them who you really are. Swear your brother and Samuel Tali to secrecy and tell no one else. I feel like Sam would leak it. It's like, you can't, if the people demand John to be king, then it's like, you know, like there's no point for Danny to be. Queen, if the people don't want her and they just want John, I have to tell Sansa and I. No, will want to see me gone and you on the Iron Throne. Yeah, she won't. Yes, yeah, she will, dog. I owe them the truth. Don't. Even if the truth destroys us. Yeah, it's going to. Arya probably won't say shit. Sansa, she's leaking that to everyone. I saw the dude. Sansa does not like Danny at all. Don't do this. <sighs> John, if you do this, if you do this, Danny's gonna kill you, dog. And Sansa and Arya, because nobody can know this. We can live together. We can. I've just told you how. Uh, <laughs> yeah, John, this is an L if you tell Sansa and Arya. This is an L, dog. I'm sorry. Like, if you do this, Danny is going to hate you. That means you probably, you have to die, Sansa has to die, Arya has to die, Sam has to die, and Bran has to die. Because nobody can know this truth. I trust Sam, well, me, actually, no, I don't. I trust Bran and Arya not to say anything, but Sam and Sansa? Hell no. We saved them. Cersei will make sure they don't believe it. Yeah. I believe Jon would stay loyal to her if, if, you know, this information gets out. He'll refuse. But, dude, if everyone... Is demanding you to be king like they're not gonna respect any ever if they know the truth as long as she sits on the iron throne she can call herself queen of the seven kingdoms yeah let's just go run up on her and take it the fuck what are we doing yeah we do let's go take it mm -hmm. give them the opportunity and they will cast cersei aside 
will surround the city. If the Iron Fleet tries to ferry in more food, the dragons will destroy them. Yeah, dude, take... Fuck their ships. Burn every single ship in the sea around, around King's Landing in the port. Are you kidding me? They'll fight better if they have time to rest and recuperate. Mm. How long do you suggest? Oh, six months. I came north to fight alongside you. Now that the time has come to reciprocate, yeah. you want to postpone. You want to throw them into a war they're not ready to fight? The longer I leave my enemies alone, the stronger they become. What you command, we will obey. Good. Check, check Sansa, John. Good. And re reassure Danny. Men will live without fear and cruelty under their rightful queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure you make sure. Yeah, tell Sansa that. Dude, I love Sansa, but like, come on. Like, oh no. We need a word. <laughs> no, you do not. Like, I'm on Danny's side here. Dead, if not for her. Yes. That doesn't mean that I want to kneel to someone. I swore. Sansa. You are the most stubborn. You respect it. Mm. We needed her. Yes. Thank you, Arya. Thank you. And we're doing the right thing telling you we don't trust your queen. You don't know her yet. I'll never know her. She's not one of us. If you only trust the people you grow up with, you won't make many allies. Yeah. I don't need many allies. Okay. Go stay in your corner, dog. My family. No, we're... The last of the Starks. <laughs> Fuck, he's gonna tell them. Fuck. I've never been a Stark. Oh! Just no. as much Ned Stark's child as any of them. <laughs> Rand knows. It's your choice. <laughs> you have to swear you'll never tell another soul. Dog, they're gonna tell everyone immediately. Are you kidding me? I do, I do not trust them. How can I promise to keep a secret if I don't even know what it is? Because we're family. Apparently we're not. Well, you're, you're right. I told them we're not. So they're not gonna keep the secret. I mean, technically you still are. You're still related to him because of Ned's sister, but like still. Tell them. She sworn to protect the Star Girl. She's my girlfriend. Dog. I'm staying here. Be that you'll finally have to climb for it. <laughs> <laughs> What's she like down there? What? <laughs> Bro, chill. You're a dog. I am the imp, and I demand to know. I knew you were fucking her. Oh, Bronze here! No, he's not. 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 I know he's supposed to, but no, he's not. He's not. He's full of them, bro. He's gonna get cold feet. No. And with that. Oh, yeah. this? This is for you. Please. Shut your mouth, Try. I've never hit a dwarf before, but say another word and I will belt you. See, I don't believe you do that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Your best day, you one handed fuck, and your best no. days are long gone. Oh, you! Oh, he cut on his best day. Break your nose. How do you know? Because I've been breaking noses since I was your size, and I know what it sounds like. Now listen. <laughs> I love what they're told. And you trust Cersei. I knew yeah. your sister was dead the second I saw those dragons. But I'd still bet on your dragon queen to win. And it just so happens I'm a betting man. <laughs> if Cersei's dead, she can't pay up. We made a deal long ago, do you remember? If anyone offered me money to kill you, you'd pay me double. What's Double River on? Hi, Garden. Oh? You're going to kill us. You wouldn't be talking to us. <laughs> oh! oh, okay, I thought you did. Okay, I almost thought you did. I almost. <sighs> I'll come find you when the war is done. Till then, <laughs> don't die. Okay. I do remember that deal. I do. If someone tell, pays you to kill me, I'll pay double, okay? You know what? I don't hate Braun for doing this. For, like, you know, doing that. He's a betting man, okay? He's doing what's best for himself, and I, I respect it. I would have been furious if he killed one of them right there. Well, like, I'd have to... Re I'd be mad, but I'd have to respect it. <laughs> but Braun was right. He, he knows Cersei's gonna die <laughs> from Daenerys. So... She can't, if Cersei's dead, she can't pay him or whatever for killing them. So, okay. Yeah, that would be the only way he's not going to. So, like, yeah. I actually do think Bronn would have killed them. If they couldn't offer him anything, he probably would have, actually. You know she loves your brother. That doesn't mean she'll be a good queen. Determined to dislike her. Yeah. How is that in the best interest of your family or the North? You're afraid of her. A good ruler needs to inspire a bit of fear. <laughs> It's not easy enough. The men in my family don't do well in the capital. Sucks. As your brother once told me, he's not a Stark. Like, oh um, no. Right. No. She wants to make the world a better place. 
Now it seems like Tyrion knows about John being a Targ. And then I feel like John just meant like he doesn't feel like a Stark. Not that he's literally not one. So Sansa is gonna think he's he's known this entire time. Literally, I'm pretty sure John had Tyrion had that combo back in season one. Damn. All right. Well, we're going to the south now. The fact is, people are drawn to him. He's a war hero. It's a good story. If we marry them, they could rule together. Yes, let's just... She's his aunt. Never Bro, it's Targaryen not nothing... Before. No. Yeah, exactly. Just marrying your aunt common in the north. Okay, it's might be, it might be weird for John, but like... Hey, he has to embrace his culture. <laughs> she does not like to have her authority questioned. Something she has in common with every monarch who ever lived. I worry about her state of mind. We still have to take King's Landing. Okay, here's what we do. We have our two dragons burn every single fucking Greyjoy ship out there. Fuck Euron. Don't even give his people a chance to fight. Just burn every single ship immediately. Oh my god. That... And then we strike the land. Like that... Fucking god, who shot that? Who fuck? Oh my god, I just scared him. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. That's all the ships he has? That's not that many. Danny, you're flying straight. You gotta, you gotta, just, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit, they're sent along. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, she got so lucky. Bro, just literally fly behind the ships. Fly behind the ships. They can't turn, you know? They can turn around, probably, but you got the entire back of the ship in the way. Like, what? And they burn the fuck out of all of them. Like, are you kidding me? Dude, we, li we literally just lost a dragon. Like, another dragon. Which one did we lose? Rhaegar? I think she's flying on radar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That that's that's gonna sink our ship. That will sink our ship. I swear to god. If he if that arrow just kills someone too, I'll be so pissed. <laughs> this episode was so happy in the beginning. Let's go back to that. Come on. Come on, let's just go back to that. Like yeah, you gotta jump, dude. But that dragon dying was so unexpected. It was that was oh shit, that is hit Tyrion. But that was such a like good, happy, feel good moment, and then boom, just waxed out of nowhere. Like I, I didn't see. Oh, every main character survived. Miss Sunday. No, oh, no, I was wrong. Our message was well received then. Yeah, she was anticipating them coming, just waiting. Like, bro, like, Daenerys, why would you fly so casually around like that? Like, come on. I mean, I, I guess she didn't, like, expect that. She definitely didn't expect that. I don't know. Seems kind of naive. If she wants to take the castle, she'll have to murder thousands of innocent people first. F fuck it at this point. No, 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 no. We only have one dragon left, too. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's gonna die. She is going to die. We will storm the city, my queen. With with who? With who? I feel like we lost a lot of soldiers just then. This is a mistake. Yeah, we cannot invade. No, hell no. But if we attack King's Landing with Drogon and the Unsullied and the Dothraki, tens of thousands of innocents will die. Yes. That is why Cersei is bringing mm. them into the realm. These are the mm. people you came here to... Yeah, we can't kill them. I beg you, your grace. Do not destroy the city you came to save. Mm -hmm. Like, I get you're pissed. I... Yes. I get you're absolutely pissed. I would be too. Do you believe we're here for a reason, Lord Ferris? No, no, not anymore. 
I'm here to free the world from tyrants. That is my destiny. Yeah, and that's not today, so... Demand Cersei's surrender. Offer her her life in exchange for the throne. <laughs> you can kill her anyway. I mean, she'll, she'll never do it, what the fuck? But perhaps it's good the people see that Daenerys Stormborn made every effort to avoid bloodshed. And Cersei Lannister refused. They should know him to blame when the sky falls down upon them. Okay, I guess we'll justify it. <laughs> see, okay, Tyrion, that backfired for Tyrion. That backfired so hard. <laughs> that is not what he wanted. I've served tyrants most of my life. They all talk about destiny. You know, I do love Thane's aggressiveness, though. I do, I do love it. I don't know if this is the smart move. You know them both. Tell me, who do you think would make a better ruler? He's, damn, he's not fit for the throne. He doesn't want the throne. Have you considered the best ruler might be someone who doesn't want to rule? Yes. What? The, uh, I mean, if, uh, he only doesn't want the throne because of Danny. That's it. Like, he obviously he's not like chasing it either. But like, if he was he was offered, boom, he's taking it. You know, he's not gonna go and chase it. But if it's offered, he'll take it. A Targaryen father and a Stark mother. John's the one man alive who might actually be able to keep the North in the Seven King. There's a connection on both sides. Like Tyrion said, the most important sides. Even if you know it's a mistake. I believe in our queen. Well, Varys serves the realm. If they're not a good ruler, he's out. He has you know rules. where my loyalty stands. Yes. You know I will never betray the realm. What mm -hmm. is the realm? I will act in their interest, no matter the personal cost. Mm-hmm. I respect it, honestly. So what happens to her? No. Please. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Fuck. Each of us Fuck. has a choice to make. I pray we choose wisely. Mm. Okay, so are we gonna assassinate Danny? Damn, okay, so. Very chose John. One of the dragons was killed, several ships destroyed, Miss Sunday captured. Yep. Jamie's gonna go. ...to be there when they execute your sister. Mmm. Damn, this is tough for Jamie. This is really tough. He's so, he's conflicted, you know? Because, like, he feels he's welcome in the North and everything. He's, he's cool with them. They've been really cool to him. But then Cersei, his sister, the love of his life. Well, I mean, he was a big beat now, so, like... And I mean, he ha he has to know there's no chance with Cersei ever again. It's after he walked out on her, oh, the door closed, he's gone. I feel like he has to go and be there, though. And it's probably going to get him killed. Stay with me. Yes. Please. Oh, you got her attached to you. Stay. Yes. Jamie, he can't. He won't. He won't. I put the boy out of tower window, crippled him for life. I strangled my cousin with my own hands mm -hmm. just to get back to Cersei. I, I do remember that when he was locked up. I would have murdered in the camp. every man, woman, and child and in the him for Cersei. She's hateful, and so am I. <laughs> that rug big bee's hard. I mean, he told her that, so she'd let him go. Like, god damn it, dude. Like, does Jamie really expect to get back with Cersei? Like, he goes and approaches her. She's going to kill him immediately. Or maybe he knows how bad of a person she is, and he does the right thing by killing her because he's trying to be a better person, you know? it's It would kill him inside to do it. But I think... Oh God! But it would be a great character arc for, arc for Jamie. Oh no! Are we about to have an execution, bro? We're not doing shit with that little tiny uh, army right there. What the fuck? I don't see any Unsullied. I mean, I don't see any Dorthraki. I see that one dragon in the back. Dragons a lot, but like, dog, those arrows. John's not here. Like, uh. oh. No, we're here just to talk to her, you know, negotiate. And she sent out the maester because she's all pussy. I mean, smart, actually, because we would just fucking kill her if she came out by herself. That's why it's not the full army, I guess. 
I mean, I get, like, Danny's rationale of, like, okay, if we negotiate and she refuses and then everyone dies, it's not my fault, it's Cersei's fault, that, so the people will see it that way. How would the people know this even happened? Like, what? Watch, Cersei's gonna refuse by killing Missandei. Missandei. Queen Daenerys demands Cersei's unconditional surrender and the immediate release of Missandei of Noth. No. Queen Cersei demands Daenerys's unconditional surrender. If she refuses, Miss Ender of Nath will die here and now. Oh, she's dying. She's dying. Your queen's last dragon is vulnerable. Your army is a battle weary <sighs> and depleted. Mm -hmm. While ours have been reinforced with the Golden Company. Oh god, he's just gonna talk to her. But no, he he is right about all that. Like we we are vulnerable as hell right now. Like Cersei has all the leverage. Especially with Miss Andy. Cersei, I implore you. You implore me? You always had a fancy way of words. If you get that reference, you get it, okay? If you get it, if you know, you know. If you know, comment down below. Pussy. You've always loved your children. And they're all dead. More than yourself, Jamie. There's nothing left to love. If not for yourself, then for your child. Uh, her current child, yeah. She's pregnant with. Does it mean your baby has to die? That was probably the best thing you could possibly have said, but I don't think it's gonna work. Are you done? If you have any last words, now is the time. Fuck. <sighs> Win the war. Something like that. Oh, that was that was even better. That was better than what I said, what I came up with. But it's it's GG. <sighs> oh my god! Oh, my god. oh shit! The gray worm. Also, I only said like oh when she said your car, because I thought that dragon was about to just start burning immediately, but. Dragon's how dragon's way too far to hear. And I'm, it'll only listen to Danny. The dragon will only respond to Danny, too. Okay, Danny, what are you gonna do now, huh? You're gonna attack right now with the 50 men we have. I know you have more, but like it's not a big army at all. Okay. <laughs> we gotta wait, we gotta get the Darth Rag here. And we gotta wait for John. You know what? They don't have to burn the city down. Just burn the red keep. If it just that's all you gotta burn. That's where Cersei will be. Alright, well that was episode four. Holy shit. Okay, I know I know I talked a lot during this episode. I know I did. But a lot of the time I feel like I have to kind of say it then and there while it's fresh on my mind. Because otherwise, I might, like, I might save it for the outro to really talk about it, and then I'll forget, like, details within it that I wanted to touch on, versus when it was, like, right in my head when it just happened. So, I do apologize if I talk a lot, but that that's the point of the reaction, you know? Don't worry, I still hear what they're saying. Sometimes I, I miss it, but I still hear what they're saying. I, but I get it's annoying for you guys, because you guys can't hear it. So, so, what I try and do is I try and leave the subtitle on the screen so you can at least read it. But yeah, I do apologize if it's like too much. But okay, so Miss Sandy is dead. I mean, like, eh, kind of saw that coming. Like, there's no, yeah, it was inevitable, dude. It was, it was inevitable. We, as soon as, as soon as she got captured, it's like, okay, that's happening. But okay, is it wise of Danny to strike now? No, not at all. You know, I feel like. After seeing House of the Dragon, I feel like Danny's like a good mix of Damon and Rhaenyra a bit because she, you know, Damon, the aggressive one, would have strike, would have wanted the strike right then and there if he was in that situation. But Rhaenyra would have been the calm, cool, collected one, being like, no. How, I know Dan, more of Danny wanted the strike, and Tyrion was just trying to talk her out of it. You know, you know, obviously Rhaenyra would have been. Furious too, just as much as Danny was, but she would have been more level-headed about it. And Danny didn't strike. She listened to Tyrion, but she kind of twisted what he said into something else. So it's like she kind of used that what Tyrion said to justify killing like a bunch of people in, within the city. So okay. So speaking of, so Varys, he chose his side. He's siding with Jon. He doesn't trust Daenerys. He doesn't trust she's 
she can keep her cool enough to be a good ruler, be a good queen. But you know, going back to like season one, she's she's only developed this way because she she did what she had to do. You know, back in season one, she she was not like this at all, and it's just. The adversity she faced in her life from season one to now has made her this way. You know, it's the only way she really survived. Maybe I don't have a good memory on season one, but she seemed a lot more innocent and she just did what she had to do to get what she wanted, you know? And that's what she that's how she sees it. She does she she's willing to do what she has to do. She's aggressive when she needs to be, but also when she doesn't need to be, which which is her which is her weakness of hers. But you know, yeah, she's not perfect, so... But then that's why various things John would be a better ruler, because he's, he's more level-headed, you know? He's more calm about everything. He's John is bit, literally just like Rhaenyra, I feel like. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not exactly, but, like, you, you know... I think you know what I mean while I'm trying to describe it. Like, in House of the Dragon, when when uh, Rhaenyra got fucked over by Alicent, Damon wanted to strike immediately. He wanted to be like, no, they killed our brother... And they stole our crown, and they stole our throne and everything. And Rhaenyra was like the one like, no, I will not burn that city to the ground. Like, and she's like, we need, we need to just wait. But then also, her son died. So it's like, she can go and commit war crimes now. I'd be totally fine with that. Like, it's valid at that point. But anyway, okay, that, that's enough of the House of the Dragon. But, but yeah, we lost a dragon to, which dragon? Uh, okay, so Rhaegar is the one that, Rhaegar, Rhaegel, however you say it. He, that dragon's the one that died oh, by the by the arrow. Dude, John was just talking about him. Like, in, when he said goodbye to Tormund, he's like, he needs the rest. <laughs> he's got blast. Oh, that was so unexpected. That was... Was that the most unexpected, like, death in the show? I think I might have been, honestly. Ed, Ed was surprising, like... But it was kind of expected because of the situation they were in, so... I mean, yeah, pulling up to King's Landing, anything could happen, but like, actually, no, I say Rob was the most unexpected. <laughs> like in hindsight, Rob se Rob's death seems a lot more seems a lot more obvious in hindsight. So does this one too, because you're 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 right there, you're right at King's Landing, okay? Like, you gotta you gotta expect defenses, okay? I don't know, she was way too relaxed in that case. R.I.P. R.I.P. Bro, they didn't just fucking shoot, like, hit it one time. That mother, that dragon got shot, like, four fucking times. <laughs> That's what made it fucked. Like, just one, I was like, oh. Like, one, I was like, That's tough. And then, the, oh my god. It got shot, like, in the ribs, and then again in the neck, and then in the, the head, I think. I know for sure in the ribs and the head. Oh my god. <laughs> but then, okay, so John told Sansa and Arya who his real parents are. Mm, I don't trust Arya and Sansa to not say shit. Um, Sam, it doesn't seem like Sam's gonna say anything about it because him and Gilly are dipping, so okay, we don't gotta worry about that. Bran obviously wasn't gonna say anything. Like, he literally said, John, like, it's your choice, you know? Like, you tell him. And he did. It's just like Sansa's really protective over Winterfell, so that's why she doesn't want Daenerys. That's why she never liked Daenerys in the first place, because John had to bend the knee and everything. She's really protective over her family and Winterfell. Like, okay, like as she should be. Like you're starting an altercation by just being like a dickhead to Daenerys and everything. Like, if you just are cool with her, I trust her to just kind of be chill. I trust Daenerys to be chill. But obviously, Sansa doesn't trust her. Sansa doesn't think she'll be a good queen and everything. And like the fact that John has a claim to the throne that's valid she's obviously going to support that more than Daenerys no matter what no matter who it would be otherwise no matter who else it would be she, she would always support John in that situation so and I mean yeah Daenerys' biggest worry was like if the people know this they're going to choose you over me 10 out of 10 times it doesn't matter John. John. it doesn't matter that you'll be you'll refuse they will demand you to be king so I do get that from Daenerys' perspective when they were debating like whether they should leave, you know, Daenerys was like, we have to strike now. And Sansa was like, but our armies need rest. Like, okay, I think they're both valid right there. They're both valid. It's not an easy choice at all. You know, the armies need rest for sure. They just fought this fat ass battle against the Night King. Like, I'm sure they don't want to go and fight again for a while. But Sansa was trying to postpone because, you know, she doesn't like Daenerys. She wants to prolong Daenerys getting that throne for a while out of spite, so. But then Daenerys is like, you, hey, I, hey, I followed up on my end of the bargain, okay? It's time for you guys to now, okay? 
So like, I get both sides to that. But like now, now it's different. Now it's different. Now we should not strike now unless unless how how many Dothraki do we have? How many do we have? Like I know Varys mentioned it. I know someone mentioned it. The Dothraki aren't here yet. Ha, I need to know how many we have and. How, and like was that all the unsullied we have like i it looked like we had like 500 like only 500 of them like is that enough to get the city i don't think it is and we're waiting on john two in the northern army so there's that but i need like a count of how many how many we have but yeah that was game of thrones season eight episode four we got two episodes left Two episodes left. Damn, I'm gonna miss this show, dude. I'm gonna miss it so much. But comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking ca- I- Did I not record any of that? Oh my god.